Hey guys, Meatball Pippo here, and today is the day. The day that we've been waiting for. Amanda the Eventual is finally released, the full game. Now, I played the demo a couple months ago, and now it's time to go into the full game. Now, I think I saw with the TV glitching, Amanda's face got kind of creepy, Dale. Let me see. Nothing? Well, maybe I'm just seeing things. Let's get into the game, okay? Dear Wiley, if you are reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. Oh no. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there was still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath you my house in Kensdale. The next part may be a mistake, and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape. But know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. This game uses an autosave. Okay. Okay, this is the attic from the demo. I remember this because, look, here's the speaking spell. What? The cow says moo! Oh, it's not working. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, like in the demo, I said that this game acts a lot like an escape room where we need to constantly be observing, looking for. Uh, combinations, codes, clues, anything that could help us open any of these puzzles. So, like, obviously this clock, it only has one hand, but if we set it to a specific time, I bet that this grandfather clock opens and there's something inside here. Oh, and there's a safe. It's a three-digit combination. Okay. Oh, yes. I remember this piano. I remember I tried to play music. Look. I know this song. Do, 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 do. That's Beethoven, y'all. Okay, let's get back. No, I said let's get back. Okay, good. All right, we got this clock. Oh, you're new. You weren't, you weren't in the demo. One, one, two. Free, 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 free. Oh my gosh, what are you? You're not Waggity Ann, you're like Waggity Annabelle! What is this? There's a flower pot here, but ugh. The roof is leaking and it's like growing funkuses. Ugh! I don't want to pick that up. Oh guys, these look like the mushrooms from Super Mario. If I eat it, do I grow big? Dum nom 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 nom. No, it doesn't work. Uh, oh, there's the tape. Let me explore some more. What is this? Like broken pottery or something? Ooh, can I read this? Oh, that's... That's what I saw in the very beginning. Ooh. What are these? Occult symbols? Someone's doing some magic up in here. What does this say? Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the water skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down, but don't tell him I told you that. 
I can't wait to see you on summer vacation. Love, Wiley. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointment to review cold case disappearances. Don't be a stranger, I'm your neighbor. New blab blab blab. What is this? It's ripped, I can't read it. Energy travel, would see sigils, TR investigating. Who's TR? Certificate, Kate Park. Ooh, Aunt Kate was a librarian. Okay. Building is still there. Too risky to investigate. What building? Oh, wait. Let's see what this letter is. Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that. For being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again. To trust. Two years ago, my brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and eventually, it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. Some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know. A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind of normal people don't do. I don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. Yo, was Aunt Kate a paranormal researcher? That would explain the occult runes over here. Let's go on. He used to watch that show. You know, it was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. Aunt Kate told people to watch Amanda? And then it got weird. I'll find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. It was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe it. In the kind of work that you do. Not at the library, the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth. That something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write any more here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. Ooh, guys, that gave me the chills. Alright. This is the tape from the demo. In the kitchen. Alright. Here's Amanda the Inventual. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, pump. Pumpkin. Mmm, that sounds <laughs> delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Okay. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? An apple slicer from Cuisinart. Oh, uh, 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 you want me to type knife, don't you? Oh, wait. Uh, what about the slap chop? You're gonna slap away your problems with slap chop. Good job! Mm. We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm I mean, a I guess that's a good, <laughs> good lesson, but you should that not play with knives. Okay, Willie, let's cut the gap. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. What do we need? We just need some sugar. Sugar. Do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Well, if you're a normal person, you put it up in the cabinet. What you got in this fridge, though? Nope. Try again. It's in the pantry. Great. Let's make a pie. Okay. Mm. Now remember, the there are going to be clues to opening things okay, in the attic if we watch pie. these First, tapes. Preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we okay. should be using the 425. oven by ourselves. 425. 425. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat, preheat the, the oven, oven to 425 degrees. degrees. Then put, put the, the apple, apple into the, the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven 40 and minutes. bake it for 40 minutes. 
Let me take notes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willy, let's have some pie! Yay! Alright, so that wasn't so bad. There was a little bit of creepy stuff going on. What is this? There's a button missing. The pause eject button is missing. We need to find that button, you guys. Can I just unplug? Can I unplug the TV and just walk away? Oh. Oh, wait. Here we go. 420. Oh, nope, 425. Was it 425? Yeah, it was 425. Boop, boop, boop. Then I put the apple in the tin. Open it. Put the tin in there. Close it. And... What? Oh, I didn't do 40 minutes. I didn't do 40 minutes. I'm sorry, Amanda. Let's try this again. Close the door. Yeah! We got another tape. This one says, In Your Neighborhood. In Your Neighborhood. Alright, can you pick up old tapes to replay them, I wonder? Let's put this in, just, just to try. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. And, and I'm, I'm Woody. What do you like best about your neighborhood? All of our friends. That's great! I like that there are so many friends in Whoa, how'd you neighborhood. know what I said? Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Guys, why are there like body outlines on the sidewalk? That's like something you'd see at like a crime scene. And it's kind of weird that some of the letters are like bolded. I'm going to write down CBF. CBF. And uh, I'm going to write down 247, just in case. Maybe maybe we'll need that later. All right, we're going to find the store. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out okay. a card. Gonna pick out My a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? All right, this is like a celebration card. This is like a get well soon card. And this is like a thank you card. Whoa, what is this? New blab bot. Only 1503. That's... We had that up on the on the bulletin board. Let me write this down. 1503.25. Uh, let's do the thank you card. Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Okay. Can I have a special treat? Yeah. I want to get my friend a special treat. But Wooly's Where your friend. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? I mean, the bakery. Obvious. Good job. Let's go get that treat. We got, mm. you got dog bones in here? Oh, Everything look at that cake. smells so good. I want to, to buy, buy my, my friend friends some... some... Whoa, buy who was that? Some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? What was that? Everything changed. Oh my gosh, do you remember? Do you remember that Amanda the Adventurer demo from like last year? That bagel looks like the butcher. When we were going to get grandma some meat? I don't like the looks of this, you guys. Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, okay. it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Oh, Their name again. is... 
wait. I don't remember. What do you mean? Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? I mean, uh, Wooly? No, Wooly's right there. Who are the people? Who's the Who's the girl who lost her brother, Joey? It's Aunt Kate. Aunt Kate. K Kate. Great work! Now we can send this. Oh, uh, Wooly to looks my so sad that we're sending I it to Aunt she Kate. Likes the cookies. Ooh, we, we've never seen credits before. Directed by Rebecca Colton as Amanda the Eventual. I, Hamelin? Follow us to fun. Follow Hamelin. You guys. You guys, do you know the old fairy tale of the Pied Piper of Hamelin? He was this guy who could play music to get all the mice and rats out of a town. But then the town didn't pay him the money that they said that they would to get rid of all the rats. So what the Pied Piper did is he came back and played his magical music and made all the kids in town follow him far, far away. The fact that this tape is made by the Hamlin Production Company and that their logo is a mouse, it's not a coincidence, guys. This production company, it wants to lure children away from their families. I bet that's what's going on. Um, nope. That's, that's where the oven was earlier. So this has to be what I need to do now. What was that code? C B F. C B. If. Oh my gosh. Oh no, accident! Oh, I don't like the sound of that, you guys. Before I put that in, let me see if I could type in the boogie bot here. One, five, zero, three, two, five. Alright, let me try again. What? One, five, zero, three, two, five. One, five, zero, three, two, five. Oh, wait, nothing happened. Nothing happened, but I'm going to go put this in here. Oh, Willie. it's you. Whatever you do, don't... Don't what? <laughs> oh, my gosh, Willie, oh, what happened? No. Wooly had an accident. An accident what, is what when happened? something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Wooly just tried to tell us that he didn't twip. Amanda, did you have something to do with this? Look at you smiling at me with your cold, dead eyes. You know Wooly hurt his knee. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Um, uh, a parent. I don't think they can help. A teacher. A nurse is. Don't you want to help Wooly? A d doctor. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Oh, Wooly does not want to go to the hmm, doctor, which guys. Which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Oh, another clock, you guys. This one is set to 620. Let me write that down, too. 620. Alright, this is like the ear, nose, and throat doctor. This is the cardiologist. 
And this is, uh, what do they call The Bone Doctors. I don't know. It's the Bone Doctor guy. Come on! Let's get Wooly fixed up! Amanda, this really hurts. Oh, when no. is the doctor going to... The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool Amanda, you do not have your medical surgery? license. The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale. Amanda, you did not go through eight years of medical school. I do not trust you to provide care for this patient. Oh, wait, there's another, there's another clock. This one is 2250. That's military time. 2250. That is 1050 p.m. 1050 p.m. Oh, wait. We don't need the heart monitor. What did she say this was? I don't know. It's the x-ray, though. We need the x-ray. That's fine! Now we can look at Wooly's bones! Amanda the Eventual. Is it the same people each time? Rebecca Colton as Amanda. 2001? Oh, there's that Pied Piper again. Follow us to fun! Follow us to fun! It definitely is an allusion to that old story, the Pied Piper of Hamlin. You guys, I think we were onto something with these tips. I'm going to say that this is the end of the first episode of Meatball People playing Amanda the Eventual. If you want more of this on the channel, give me a like, a subscribe, and now I'm allowing people to leave comments. So, I'll talk to you all later. Bye! Love you!